Hi guys, it's Shani. As you would have seen below, this is a tutorial. Um, today it's a tutorial on this look. I'm wearing a smoky purple eye um, using all of TikTok shadows. I'm calling this Smoky Dragon um, because the main colour is Edge of the Dragon. Um, hopefully you like it. I'm saying um a lot. I don't know why. Uh, it is really cold here today. Um, I had to drag my butt out of bed. I'm about to go out for lunch with some friends. Um, a late lunch, afternoon tea type thing. Uh, I've spent most of the morning watching some movies in bed with the dogs because it has been raining here for the last three days. And it's a little bit gloomy. So obviously you can see I've got my nice warm beanie on. I've got my, my jumper, casual jumper. Um, yeah, so hopefully you like this... So hopefully you like this look and yeah, all the products are TikTok and they'll be listed in the video. Um, yeah, alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so starting off we want to use um, primer eyes. So I'm going to be using the TikTok Prime of the Times 3-in-1 primer. You don't need an awful lot for this stage, just a tiny little bead. Apply that all over the lid and up into under the brow bone. And I find with this primer you want to let it sit for a couple of seconds. Oh, my concealer's not working today. It is so cold here at the moment. It's just ridiculous. And excuse my unpainted nails. Okay, let's just let it sit. And when it feels like it's dry, it's dried out and smoothed a bit, um, you're ready for the next stage. Applying a white uh, eyeshadow base. I'm using the TikTok Infinity eyeshadow base in Milky Way. You can hear the dog in the background. There, you can see I've had a lot of uh, use of this product. Just apply over the entire lid area but not up into the crease. Getting all the way into that inner corner. If it's opaque enough for you, you can do a couple of layers to build up that colour. When you've got it how you like, it doesn't have to be neat. Um, Apply a sticky base. You don't have to do the sticky base step, but I prefer to use all my loose shadows like that. This is the Farina Pixie Epoxy. You can use whatever works for you. Just a tiny little drop and apply that all over the lid. Again, only focusing on the lid. Let that go a little tacky. Then taking It's Only Forever, which is this really nice shimmery neutral colour. And a flat shader brush. This is just a concealer brush from Cosmetica. Apply this colour to the entire lid. And just blend that just up into the crease area. Your highlighter colour, this is Max Orb, um, which is a nice satin finish colour. Just apply that all over to the, from the crease up into the brow bone. This will um, help to become your transition colour. Next up, you want to take Tick 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 Boom, which is a really nice reddish colour, and a pencil brush. This is again just a Cosmetica brush. Load it up and then apply that all into the outer crease, outer V area, and blend into the crease. Blend back and forth with the windscreen while promotion. This doesn't need to be neat. Um, you're just basically creating a bit of depth. You want to try and do a semi sort of rounded shape. Going with season finale, which I accidentally dropped into some lip tar. That's why it's got red on it. And any sort of blend. the master makeup blending brush by Dean Nixon. It's really nice. Load up the tip of it, just the tip with that season finale, and go over the tick 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 ball and a little bit above, blending it in a windscreen off motion, back and forth. And then just blend it into that, it's only forever. And this is just helping to create the depth you want. So it's not just a, a one or two dimensional look. Then, then using that same brush, and Age of the Dragon, which is really nice duochrome colour. Take that brush and pick some of that Age of the Dragon up and then just apply it over that whole colour and then just a little bit more into the crease, blending into the inner corner. Blend, blend, blend. 
until you get the shape you're happy with. taking a tapered blending brush this is the Sigma E40 and again with my highlighting color load it up and then you just want to blend the edges out blending into just the outer crease as well just getting everything to look seamless and at the same time it just helps to blend everything together When you're happy, then it's, everything matches up. And then taking the Age of Dragon and an angled brush, just want to apply that to the lower lash line. Almost all the way to the inner corner. Then taking um, the Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner in Demolition. You just want to apply a very fine line. Just apply it as close as you can to the lash line. In the Ebony K 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil, just apply some black to the waterline. You don't have to use the Ebony K one, whatever one you have at home. And then last but not least, some mascara. This is 29 mascara in Divine Brown. Because so I was going to wear black for this, but I thought that might be a little bit harsh and brown's a little bit more natural. And that is our eyes done. I'm just going to quickly do some contouring and highlighting and I'll be right back. Now I'm back. And I've done my contouring, highlighting, and I already have my lip colour on today. Um, there'll be a link to my Sunday sesh where I show you how to do contouring, highlighting, and blush. Um, yeah, so this is my smoky purple look for today using all TikTok shadows. Um, I really do like to do a smoky purple. Um, it's really nice for brown eyes, and it is just a bit different to the traditional smoky black eye or a navy eye and that um, it's only feather seems to almost have a slight greeny tone to it so the purple looks really attractive with that hopefully you guys liked it as always the links to my blog twitter facebook and instagram will be below um, feel free to check them out also feel free to check out the tiktok facebook page um, which i will link below Hopefully you guys have a great day. It is absolutely freezing here. And I will see you all later. Bye guys.